Hello guys, my name is Tanner Mulay. I am an international undergraduate student studying my fourth year of digital media. Today, we are gonna be doing something that I've wanted to do for the past four years, but never was able to do. We're going to the Sterling Highland Games today. I was able to get some tickets for myself and my girlfriend and a friend of ours, so we're gonna be spending the day there. It's a little rainy outside, but it says the weather's supposed to be picking up a little later on in the day, which hopefully is the case. Now it was slightly overcast, but there wasn't anything to worry about. I had the proper footwear on. We made our way into town to catch the P1 to get to the P, which had the benefit of being a free bus in order to get to the games. We arrived a little early just so we can get a bearing on where all the events were being held, as well as getting some food and drinks for the morning. So I got myself a hot chocolate and an Empire Biscuit. Once we had our bearings, we actually got a chance to see the Wounded Highlanders, who were competing in the Adaptive Heavyweights at the Highland Games. The Wounded Highlanders are the only Adaptive Highland Games team that is recognized. All the members of the team are wounded, injured, or sick military veterans. The first Adaptive Heavyweight activity that they took part in was the Shot Put, which has two different weights that they have to throw. They have to throw a 16-pound ball and a 22-pound ball. Then just as the second event was beginning, the sun started to come out with very little clouds in the sky, almost as if it was perfect timing, as well as the guests were starting to show up and more of the events were already starting to take place. The second adaptive heavyweight activity was the hammer toss. Then we took some time to visit the balaclava, pipes and drums. After that, I joined the Heritage Tour to find a little bit more about Sterling. An interesting fact that I found out is that 10,000 years ago, the site for the Sterling Highland Games would have been underwater. It would have been a great inland sea lock where the bodies of prehistoric whales and dolphins washed up, and you can currently see their bones at the Smith Museum. On this tour, we also got to see the Highland dancing, and it was created from the Gaelic folk dance repertoire but formalized with the conventions of ballet. After that, when I made my way back to the heavyweight, the entire field was surrounded by spectators just before the caber toss. It's a traditional Scottish athletic event which competitors toss a large tapered pole and these cabers can be around 16 to 20 feet tall and weigh up to 90 to 150 pounds. But that definitely didn't stop the Broken Highlanders from tossing it. Once lunchtime rolled around, we grabbed some chips and a burger just to have ourselves tied over for the rest of the events, of which included track and field and cycling, as well as the Bruce Challenge, where competitors carry two large stones and they have to walk around two posts as long as they possibly can to set the next record. Before this event started, the record was 100 meters carrying 164 kilograms. And just before we left, we decided to stop by the shopper's market. We were able to see beer holders, creative coasters with popular Scottish terminology on it, and also sample some gin. So all around the Highland Games are one of the many reasons why Scotland is a beautiful country to study and live in. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching these experiences as much as I did filming them. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video overall. Thank you for watching.